Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how to find the frequency of character in a string. That means if you have a string and that value is here, this is a mango and in that string we have to find like how many times S is repeated. So we have to find the frequency of that character. So first of all, we have to get one by one character. Then we can check like whatever character is our required and whatever character we are getting is both are equal or not. So for that we have to use a for loop and in this for loop what will be happen? We will get character one by one. So we'll start the character from index zero that means t and it will go till the length of our string and in that one we'll put one if condition and in the if condition whatever character will get from the for loop and we'll try to match and if it's match then we'll try to increase the count value so let's try to write the code so you will understand it much more easier so i'm going to create a string variable and that name is your input either you can directly put a static input or you can use a scanner class to get the input from the user if you don't know how to use a scanner class then please watch this video now our requirement is what we have to find the character frequency so let's put the character is here s yes. and we have to see like s is how many times repeated in input that means input variable we have to write a for loop and that for loop will start from what index zero so just use your int i equal to zero and it will go till what it will go till input length so just use input dot length and it is an increment order that means we have to start from 0 1 2 3 so it will be here i plus plus so let's try to print first of all character like what are the character we are getting so just use here i and run your code so here you can see we are getting 0 1 2 3 all these things because we are passing here i now we have to find like what are the character we have behind this i so how you can do just use here input dot care at that means character at now you can again rerun so you can see first time we are getting t then h then i then s then a space all this character we are getting one by one so if you try to put the breakpoint and if we run you can see at first time i value zero then what we are getting you can see all the character we are getting so if you are thinking where t went so let me show you t is here and if you skip you can see all the character here we are able to get the character now we have to see like when the character is equal of our input character so now we have to see like what are the character we are getting in the for loop is it equal to with s or not so what we can do just use here ch double equal and just use here input dot character at and for now just put here message like match found so let's run so you can see we are getting two times why because s is here and again s is here if you want just put here i index value again rerun so you can see when the index was 3 that means 0 1 2 3 then we found an another time is when the index was 6 so this is fine we are printing two times but how we can say like frequency is 2 so that part also we can achieve so just use here int count equal to 0 so whenever if it will match we'll just try to increase the count by plus plus or if you have any problem then you can do also like count count plus one both are same if you don't know then you can watch my java tutorial video you will easily understand post and pre-increment concept now once the for loop is ended let's try to print like i'm saying like ch means s so it will be like s character total frequency and what are the value we get in the count so let's run so you can see we are getting s character total frequency is totally two times now if we change with a what will be happen let's run a is also here two times a is here and a is here let's try to change with o so you can see we are just getting o is only one time so this is a way to find the frequency of 
string character so here for loop try to change with while loop and try to see how you can change the code so it will improve you to understand this kind of problem so that's it for the day see you in next video